In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly walk you through the steps for creating a person and a diet recall and an exercise recall for that person. So go to new person, and then here we have to enter a name, first name, last name, and age, select the gender, choose activity level, enter height, and weight. These are going to all be used to calculate the recommendations. And when you're done with that, we're going to go and look through the other screens real fast first. Client is where you enter that information. Medical information, the recommendations you'll see here, you can override those if necessary. You can enter a weight gain or loss plan here. And then here, if you want to enter your thing into your person into groups for future searches, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to enter this one into my persons. And then here is where you would record any notes that you have. Click OK when you're finished. And the screen will automatically open with the food list entry. So what you're going to do here is search for and enter the foods for the diet recall. You can use words or partial words or codes, numeric codes to search. In this one, I've already created my recipe for sample fruit salad, so I'm going to find that by typing in sample and then selecting sample fruit salad when the results list shows up. And then you enter that and you will automatically get the uh, modify food list item box. This is where you enter the quanti quantity and measure for your recipe. And then you can also enter it into a specific date or meal. Um, so I went ahead and put that one in lunch and then click OK. And then you will continue to enter the rest of your daily recall in the same manner. And then I'm going to enter an ingredient instead of a recipe just so you can see how that works too. These are ingredients that are already in the database. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just select milk here and enter that. Once again, I have to enter the quantity and the measure and I can select a day or meal if I want. If I don't, it's going to put it in the existing or the meal that I used for the last item. Go ahead and save this. I'm going to show you here the exercise recall. So click up here on the ribbon, click exercise, and then you can enter in a specific exercise for your person. I'm going to enter in running for her. Once again, it's the same thing. You enter in word or partial words and click search and then select the correct, select the correct one from the list that you're given. In this case, I'm going to select She's probably running about six miles an hour. Um, and then I'm going to enter in the duration in hours and minutes. And then I'm going to click OK. So once again, I would enter the other exercises in the same manner, like if she did yoga for an hour on day two. Um, uh, and then right here is we can see we can see the reports. So this is the recommendation reports and it gives you how many calories she should be eating every day, <clears throat> etc. And then this is the bar graph that shows you what percent of her recommendations she met with her diet. You can also show here um percentage met and diet adequacy and other options. It's a pretty good overall summary of your person's diet and recommendations met. Thank you for joining us.